1 Corinthians 15, 21 says, For as by Adam came death, by Jesus has come also the resurrection of the dead. The literal words say, For as by a man came death, by another man has come also the resurrection of the dead. Paul's talking about the first man, Adam, death came because of his sin. And then he talks about the second man, the second Adam, Jesus, who through his life, death, and resurrection comes the resurrection of the dead. And then we get this glimpse at the end of the Bible, friends. I love to point you to this as often as I can because we need to, we need to so clearly remember and have our hope and have our eyes fixed on Jesus and fixed on the good news of the gospel. This right here in Revelation 21, this is why the gospel is good news. Jesus lived, died, and arose to give us this, to give us himself and so that we would be with him forever. Revelation 21, 3 through 5, John's writing and he says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And what's that word? Death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Friends, this isn't fictional. This isn't a fairy tale. This isn't wishful thinking by the Apostle John sitting on this island. This is a revelation that Jesus gave him so that we would know not how the end times are all going to happen, but we would clearly know what's going to happen for those of us who are in Jesus. Death shall be no more. Friends, because of your sin, you are going to die. Your loved ones are going to die. Your friends are going to die. But in Jesus, we will be raised from the dead. In Jesus, death is no longer an enemy. That's a beautiful thing. For the non-Christian, death is still an incredible enemy because your death will take you swiftly into judgment. And you'll pay for the sins that you've committed against God. That's why it's an enemy. But for the Christian, for those who just trust Jesus, it's not about doing any works to be saved. It's not about being a better you so that God will then love you. It's about looking to the work of Jesus to make you righteous, to take away your sin, to be your resurrected Savior. It's about looking to Him and trusting Him. And for the Christian, hear me. Look at me, every one of you in the room. This is where we end. If you're in Christ, death is your greatest friend because it will take you swiftly to Jesus. So to live is to be like Christ and to imitate Christ and to follow Christ and to die is truly gain. So don't weep for those who have died in Christ. Don't mourn for the people who have died and they were in Christ. Man, they would not come back if they could. They're with Jesus. They're like Him. They've seen Him. 